video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey, what's up, Ninjas? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a high calorie cheat day. And today, we're gonna to be bringing you some good food and a secret menu item hoping that I can actually get it. So hopefully we can just go to one location, but I have a feeling that we're gonna have to maybe try a few locations to get this item. But that's later on this morning, we're gonna go to a restaurant that I've never been to, and it's kind of weird. It's the original Pancake House. I already placed an online order for some crepes, pancakes, waffles, and stuffed French toast. So it's gonna be a pretty big breakfast this morning, but I'm pretty excited since I've never had it, and the photos look pretty appetizing. So with that said, let's go pick up our food and bring it home. This portion sizes are a lot bigger than I was thinking, which is a good thing. I was gonna eat this in the car, but you can't eat this type of breakfast food in the car. Uh, so I'll just see you back at home. All right guys, so we're back at home with this massive breakfast, a lot more than I anticipated. And let me tell you, the presentation of this food far exceeds my expectations. Usually when you do takeout, the food comes sloppy, takeout-ish. But I do wanna acknowledge that Original House of Pancakes does a great job in package presentation. So that's a thumbs up for me. This right here, this is the apple pancake. And as soon as this hit my car, I could smell this and it smells delicious, fantastic. And it looks crazy. These are pancakes. I just wanna taste some of this. Oh, do you hear that? It's like the crunch you get from creme brulee, that burnt top, that is beautiful. And I just need to take a small bite of this real quick. And this is an apple. That is fantastic. And this item on the menu is a specialty item, which is an apple pancake. And it comes with apple, cinnamon, some type of syrup. I don't know how many pancakes this is. I think it's two or it's just one massive pancake. So for the items we ordered, we went with a stuffed French toast, which is in the top, a pecan waffle, which is in the middle, and a blueberry crepe, which is on the bottom. So let's just dig right into this. Wow, look at all that glaze dropping off of that. I gotta show you how thick this pancake is. It's really just one pancake, but it is very thick. I don't even know if this is a pancake. They call it a pancake on their menu, but it doesn't taste like a traditional pancake. First off, I love the flavor of this. I would give the flavor itself like a nine out of 10. However, I don't know if I would call this a pancake. I don't know what I would really call this, but whatever this really is, I would give this like a nine out, a strong nine out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10, maybe even a 10 out of 10. The texture of the cake is just different. I think that's what is throwing me off, not in a bad way, just not a pancake way. And hot, it is really hot right now. And that's all she wrote, folks. This was magnificent. I would 100% get this again. The texture of the pancake literally melts in your mouth. Fantastic. On to the stuffed. French toast, and let me tell you, these are massive compared to any stuffed French toast that I've had at previous restaurants. This is literally a French toast sandwich with stuffing right in the middle of it, and let me just pull this out and give you guys a good glimpse of it. Now, I don't know the exact filling they use on the inside of it. I'm just gonna assume it's some type of cream, and I am going to break this open. I taste a hint of almond. I'm not sure if it's in the cream or infused in the actual French toast. It's very, very subtle. And for the taste of it, honestly, I like the taste. I like the French toast. The French toasts are good. The stuffing, I feel, could use a little bit more. I would definitely say you would need some syrup. It just feels like it's lacking something. So let's do it with syrup and see if that changes it up a bit. 
not really, it's still lacking something. I don't know what it is. I think a strawberry syrup or actual fresh strawberries would give this a nice punch of flavor. And that's that for the stuffed French toast. We will open the waffle first since it is the one on top. This right here is a, a pecan waffle. I'm curious to know if there's actual pecan on the inside of the waffle. All the syrup must go. Here we go. I thought that I wasn't really gonna like this just because I think I thought that it might have needed some type of flavoring. However, I think the pecan and the syrup itself um, is perfect. Even though it's been packaged, I think the waffle still tastes great. It's not soggy. It's holding the syrup a solid seven out of 10. Waffles done, and we have one last item, and these are the crepes. The blueberry crepes. And it does come with a side of blueberry syrup. It looks blue, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, blueberry syrup. Let me show it to you guys first. So you have three large crepes with blueberries on top, and I think there's blueberries in the middle. And blueberry sauce to go on top. And the syrup really is tasty. I don't know if I've ever had blueberry syrup, but I do like it now. See if there's anything else other than the blueberries stuffed inside. So no cream in the crepe, just blueberries with the blueberry syrup. And for a crepe, I, I do like it. I think I like sweet crepes a tad more. I like the ones with cream cheese in the middle of it, strawberries, bananas, I love those ones. But this one is tasty too. I'll give this a seven out of 10. And that's this morning's breakfast. I thought everything was fantastic. Favorite item, definitely the apple pancakes. I think it's a unique item. I've never had something like that before. And I don't know the calories for this meal, but I will give it to you right now. And the next meal will be the secret menu item. Hopefully it's still there. So I'll see you in just a sec. So our next destination is Arby's and right now we're looking for the secret menu item called the Meat Mountain. So I'm hoping this location has it. Thank you for shipping off with the veteran of you ready. Hello, I was wondering if you guys make the Meat Mountain here. Hold on one second. Yes. Yes, we still make it. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, can I please have a meat mountain with curly fries and an orange cream shake? Yes, they have the meat mountain here because that's not on the menu. It's technically a secret menu item. Last time I looked for this item, I had to go to three different Arby's and that was like four years ago or three years ago and it was like a promotional thing, but they still have it, yeah. If you guys watched one of my recent videos, I went to Arby's and I got their new items and it was the orange cream shake. I thought this thing was fantastic. So we had to include it in this video since this is a high calorie day and this is a 10 out of 10 shake. Thank you so much. You too. Food is secured. Now we just need to find a spot to eat this. And before we continue, let's talk a little bit about Squarespace and why I love it so much. I personally use Squarespace go on for about two years with zero regret. At first, building a website sounds like a scary thing to do and having someone else build a website for you can cost high money. 
But Squarespace has made building a website very simple, affordable, and very helpful for those that don't know where to start. They offer tons of resources to get you started, such as webinars, forums, blogs, and more. You can buy your domain right off of Squarespace. It's an all-in-one website builder with everything you'll need to get your business to the next level. If you guys have been watching me for some time, I've mentioned I do freelance video work and how I showcase some of the work that my partner and I have done. We built a website using Squarespace. You can see how clean and professional it looks. This attracts clients for us every week. A website is a must if you're serious about your passion or your business, and it's never been easier than today. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash natefigs to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, and back to the video. All right, guys, so we did luck out with the Arby's Meat Mountain, and I'm going to give you guys a good look at what this bad boy looks like. Um, the photo actually looks a lot bigger than this, but um, this is what we're looking at right here. I think this comes with every single meat that Arby's offers, so roast beef, ham, turkey, chicken, bacon, and any other meat they offer there. There also is... I think two types of cheese, maybe three types of cheeses in here, it looks like. But this looks pretty good in my opinion. I am a fan of Arby's and I actually was inspired by the latest H3 podcast. They had it on their last episode and I was like, oh man, I didn't know that this was a secret menu item. So I figured I would include it in this video. Also, it is high in calories. So I don't know the exact amount, but from what I saw online, it's 1,200 to 1,500 calories. But we'll probably go in the lower end since it doesn't look like it's super packed. Now, I have had this sandwich in one previous video years ago, and I think I ate five of them in one sitting. That was the entire video. And I think they looked bigger than this. However, this is still big, and I have curly fries, and as you guys know, an orange cream slush that I've already drinking half of. So, bon appetit. Mm. To me, I think this is good. I mean, I can understand why most people would be disgusted by this because there's so much stuff on it. I actually enjoy it. And we're gonna add some barbecue sauce in this just to give it some tang. And I think, oh, damn it. Okay, well, I got a little bit of barbecue sauce in my leg. That's fine, this table doesn't extend far. We're just gonna stick this back in there. Now, let's try this. Barbecue sauce takes it from like a eight to a 10. This is actually not a good liquid to use while trying to eat food because it's just thick and thick. But here you can actually see all the layers inside the meat mountain now. That is a lot of layers there. It's just a combobulation of meats. Mm hmm. And the chicken tender inside of the sandwich is really good. I like Arby's chicken tenders. I love the crunch on the outside. Mmm, I love that so much. One of my favorite segments that used to be on the H3 podcast was when Ethan would do food reviews on the podcast. I thought that was very entertaining. I wish they would bring that segment back. And that's it for the Arby's Meat Mountain. I think that's a solid sandwich. I would eat it again. Maybe not every day, but every once in a while. Mm. And now we gotta finish these curly fries, which I think are the best curly fries. This is an excellent shake. And that is it for Arby's. That was very quick. I feel like I can eat another meat mountain. I think the last meal that we have for today's docket 
is going to be a pretty big meal because we're going to be going to Cheesecake Factory or picking up Cheesecake Factory. And there's a few items that I've been wanting to get or been wanting to eat for quite some time. And that is the Grande Burrito. Over 2,000 calories in this burrito. And today is the day I will be ordering that along with some other goodies that Cheesecake Factory has to offer. <laughs> And this is the last of the food. I'll see you at home. And we are back at home in the kitchen. I need to do some scenery change. Plus I have a fan up there. So when I start getting hot, I just turn that on just to cool me off. And I like this table. This table is very comfortable for me. So for the Cheesecake Factory food, in front of me, I have this mass. This burrito is a lot bigger than I thought. This is called the Grande Burrito. And it is probably the size of two Chipotle burritos, maybe a little smaller, but this thing is massive, a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And it smells delicious and nutritious. But I do wanna dip into this. But before that, the reason why I wanted to go to Cheesecake Factory, not only because it has high calorie food, but for the cheesecake. And Cheesecake Factory forgot my darn cheesecake. And it is the reason why I wanted to go there in the first place. And I'm just, I'm not going to drive there. It's like 30 minutes down the road, not driving there, not the greatest of customer service. And I go there quite frequently. So it's not just one or two occasions. It's like 75% of the time. Other than that, the food is fantastic. So I don't know exactly what is in this massive burrito. We will find out together. I can't see anything other than rice. Hmm. There's some corn in there, some onions. Okay. Yeah, there's chicken. Mmm. There's chicken on the bottom of the burrito. I gotta say, the flavor of the burrito is fantastic. Mmm. This is a fantastic burrito. Wow. And the flavor of the rice. It has like a fresh cilantro flavor. I've been wanting to try this burrito now for the last year. I don't know why I waited so long. And I would also say the price of the burrito is fair. Halfway through the burrito and for rating, I would, I would give this a nine out of 10. I think the flavor is on point. I love the ingredients in it. I love the grilled onions in here. Corn, rice, chicken, everything just blends together well. Fantastic. And the burrito was a filling that that burrito one of those burritos for a normal person might fill you up for an entire day well worth it highly recommend now on to the tacos here we have four lovely tacos i've never had any tacos at cheesecake factory before wanted to try some different foods i want salsa though or some type of hot sauce to kind of spice it up. I should just eat one just to taste it without any flavoring so you can get the real taste of the taco. It has chicken, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and guacamole, and that seems to be it. The tortilla is like a flour tortilla. Oh, there's some kind of dressing in there too, but it's nice and sweet, I like it. There is some spices coming through too. Gotta say, these tacos are pretty good. I don't think I'll be using any hot sauce for these tacos. I think the flavoring it has in the tacos is enough. And the actual taco shells seem to be a little thicker than normal flour tortillas. It's almost like a, a thin pita bread um, and I don't mind it.
We're in the last actual meal part. Now I told you guys that I didn't have any cheesecake, which was very, which is very sad, but I do have cheesecake. It's just not Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Because I wanted to finish off the day with some type of cheesecake. We have about four slices. They're like a week or two old. There's frostbite on top of it. Some of these I will be consuming as long as it doesn't taste like it's old. Onto the last dinner plate, we have a chicken a parmesan pizza style. I don't know how to really eat this though. I need to cut it in slices for sure. So I guess we just eat this as if it was a pizza. One of the cooler creations they have at Cheesecake Factory. We got a quarter of this done and this is enjoyable. I like the, what are you doing Reese's? The angel hair pasta, I think they use white sauce to flavor the pasta up and then it has red sauce obviously for the pizza. The bottom is a tad greasy, uh, a little more than I would like. Other than that, I think it's good. I would give this like a, a seven out of 10. Still got one spoon of pasta. Mm. Um, let's go ahead and try the cheesecake right here. Um, it looks like it defrosted pretty well. That's good. Mm. Cheesecake is still good. And I'm not gonna eat these chocolate ones, but I am going to eat this one here. And for the total calories, today and this one i don't know what this is i think this one is called a turtle this one is okay no thank you to me Cheesecake with water is disgusting. Don't ever do it. So that's the end of the video. We ended off with about 13,000 calories. Originally, I wanted to hit more close to 15,000 calories, but that's pretty hard to do when you separate the day into three meals. If I had waken up a little earlier, I could definitely have done that. But I did start a little later than I wanted to. That's okay, 13,000 calories is still a lot of food. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Just want to give a thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Hope you guys are doing well out there, safe, sound. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.